Hey girls, or hey everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel, Raquel Annette here, if this is your first time here, so glad that you are here, y'all. So as you see today, I have this very, very intense va va -voom look, like seriously, I haven't seen anybody with this intense makeup in a while, so I just wanted to bring it back. I have been using this Drop Dead Gorgeous Palette. It's the Little Bit Psycho Palette by BH Cosmetics, and it just really spoke to me. I'm in a burgundy theme on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. I'm very, very active there. I'm always on there every single day, so you can interact with me there. Anyways, the theme I'm moving into is burgundy, red, and black. So this really just fit into my little, you know, my little jam that I got going on and it's super cute and it's affordable so you guys really were what you received my affordable drugstore makeup that I just did so I thought I would do another um, affordable makeup look so if you want to see how I created this look with this really cute palette you're more than welcome to continue on watching we're gonna go ahead and dive right in The Drop Dead Gorgeous Palette, a little bit psycho, two, four, six, eight. It is an eight pan shadow, and we, we've got some reds, we've got some metallics, we got some very, very intense, hyperly pigmented matte shadows. I've already dipped into this palette three other times, you guys. I was trying to create this skeleton look. I tried three times, I ended up scaring my kids and stuff, but like it just didn't turn out unfortunately. So I thought I would just take and do an actually drop dead gorgeous look and this is what I came up with. I think I look awesome, I think it looks cute and I want to share with y'all so let's dive right in. Alright guys, so this hair and I guess the shirt is making me look a little bit flushed. Please excuse that, I, I, don't, I don't know, I don't, even, I don't even know. But we're gonna get through to the beauty today, okay? We're gonna get through to the beauty. All right, so we're going to take this Maybelline Age Rewind, or what is it? I'm sorry. It's an Age Rewind, and we are just going to apply that base to our eyes. This is a super affordable um, concealer that I'd spoken about previously in my last video, if you caught it. Um, it's just a really good drugstore concealer, like really good. And now I'm just going to buff that out with this Sigma 3D. HD brush okay so like my brushes aren't always affordable because your brushes are a stable investment to having a beat face so that is one thing like a primer that I always talk about your brushes are another thing that are kind of stable and if you buy it it's not going you're gonna have it for a long time so that's where the price point comes in for the use of the tool but this is a 3d one and it is like um, it's just in a very odd shape. You can use it and it gets into all the nooks and the crannies. You can use it as concealer. You can use it to set under your eyes. It's just a really multi-purpose brush. Um, that was a good investment. So we're all blended out on the eyes. Now we're going to jump into our Drop Dead Gorgeous Little Bit Psycho. Oh, she's hot but a psycho. All right, so we're going to take in this Real Techniques. This is a really good brush. Now, Real Techniques is kind of like the bee's knees or whatever. They have a really good blending sponge, and I really do like their blending brushes. They are, they're really formulated or like they're manufactured to withhold like the test of time. I remember one time I had one of their brushes for like two or three years and I had soaked it to wash it for a long time and like the bristles started coming out and I just felt very betrayed because it was like you were supposed to last forever. I know that you were like six dollars but damn you, you you held on for a long time. I wasn't expecting to lose a soldier so these are really really good affordable brushes if you're not in the place to purchase Sigma at the moment. So we really just intensify the crease with that black, which is super pigmented. Um, I have dug into this palette actually three times. I tried to create this skeleton, like trying to be creative and do the Halloween thing. Somebody, one of the Uber influencers was like, well, people don't do uh, Halloween um, YouTube videos anymore, which made me think like, well, I'm gonna do it then because um, somebody's watching it, you know, I still watch Halloween tutorials, I just got done watching Nicole Guer Guerrero, Guerrero, I just got done watching Nicole Guerrero's She Double and I was really inspired, so, you know, to each its own, somebody's gonna watch a Halloween tutorial, we're all at home. Uh, a nice little horizon, whatever, and with that same brush, I'm gonna go dip into this shade, it is called Knockout. 
And I originally thought it was a brown, but it literally is just red. It's just a little bit of, it's red with more so of a brown, but it's more red than brown, if that makes sense, as you can see, which is really pretty. Um, I really like that color. So what we're gonna do is just, we are going to politely blend these two together. I've noticed that I say politely with a lot of a thing, and I feel like I should try my pick. <laughs> politely blend it because you gotta be polite, okay? And these blend pretty good. Um, you know, you have to blend a little bit more than, let's say, of course, a Natasha Denona, but for the price point, BH Cosmetics has always delivered. This was probably one of the very first palettes that I ever bought online. So like my first palette was the Naked 2 palette. I'm lying. My first palette was like a Maybelline little, like, you know, one of their little palettes, but like my first palette like to really try to work with my makeup was uh, the BH Cosmetics. One of them with a whole bunch of colors because back in the day I really liked working with multiple colors. That was my jam. Back in the day when I was young I'm not a kid anymore but some days I really wish I was a kid again. See that just blends up beautifully and I decided to go with Knockout because my hair is burgundy. When I used this palette the first time it was Fire Engine Red, yeah, I really can't believe that I tried three times to create that skeleton look and it just was not what it was supposed to be, but you live and you learn. Okay, so after blending those two out, um, as you can see in my hair, we got some deep burgundy going on, we got some little highlights of red, so what I want to do is take this beautiful shade of red, it's called Devil Wears It. Uh, it's really pretty you guys um, It's just so pretty look at it. It's so pretty and it matches my hair and it just looks it's going to look awesome I actually used it on my lid in the other look um, as well, and then I'm gonna bring that back I'm gonna pull that right underneath those two colors and create a wing with that Okay, so that is pretty much it. I really like um the contrast is like bold, it's like boom, boom, boom. It's not so much of a gradient blended beautiful gradient like eye, it's just more so bam in your face, I'm here, drop dead gorgeous, we got the black, we got the red, what's up, you know? So that's what I wanted to be super bold. Right, so underneath my eye, I'm gonna pick up this Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with Vamped and I'm gonna mix Vamped with Knockout because I want the under eye to be kind of more red than the top. I didn't know if I should put a white liner because it was just gonna turn pink if I put it in. So I'm probably going to line with a black liner just to really intensify everything and give me a really drop dead gorgeous red look. So next I was going to take this NARS liner and line my eye but I want to provide affordable choices. So we are gonna take this sleek and this is the intense water liner. I did get this in PR, I would have never picked this up y'all. This is a smooth A freaking liner. It's super smooth, it's really really good. It just it goes on like butter. So I mean it's affordable and if you see it, Pick it up because it's not going to skip. It's super, super pigmented. I don't even remember the last time I water, like, lined my eyes with black. <laughs> and there you have it, people. Sharon Osborne in the house. All right, so now I'm just going to repowder a little bit, but I did my face like I did my concealer and powder, but I haven't sculpted or anything yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this True Complexion palette, medium to dark, like y'all never seen it on here before. This is an awesome palette. I always talk about this. It just, for my skin tone, it literally, they these two shades, just it just works out so well. And All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and take this Sweet Cheeks. This is Red Riot. Now this is called Red Riot, but it is more so of a burgundy blush, and since I am Sharon Osborne to the fullest child, I'm gonna be using this on my cheeks. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some mascara. This is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. We're just gonna pop that on. All right, so that's pretty. Um, I would honestly say the Lash Sensational is a dupe for 
the Huda Beauty new length and lash or curl and length. Um, Huda's may be a dupe for Lash Sensational. Either way, it serves the same purpose. It's like the formula is the same and the wand is the same as well. So that is definitely a dupe for the Huda Beauty. And yeah, I have both so I can give you the tea. So now I'm just gonna set my brows with some of the Rare Beauty. This is their brow liner. I use this because it's really good and it's a two and a one deal for less than sometimes one eyebrow pencil. So maybe on the high end of affordable but as um, being reasonable for be it being a two in one product i do think that'd be a reasonable price to justify all right so while the bra gel sets i'm gonna go ahead and pick up this bomb this is the bomb molten chrome by maybelline you guys see i cut my hand twice this week like as soon as i got the blood drip on my fingernails i got cut and i was bleeding i was like did i invite that in hmm and I find that this, it, even though it has a cream base, my skin gets dry in some areas. So I like to press this in and with the warmth of my fingernail, it really starts to melt the product into my skin. We are going to go into the ombre of the lips. There are three different ways that you can ombre your lip. You can use a liquid liner to line your lips and then fill it in with another lip product. You can line it with a liner, otherwise you can line it with an eyeshadow as well. All three are great if you know how to blend and create the gradient effect on that. Um, so for me today, I do want to go kind of dramatic. So if I was using a liner, this is the ColourPop I Love Satin E. This is in the shade, what is this, Mamacita? Oh, I'm just going to show you. I always like to take the pencil and really just create the outline because with a liquid lipstick, you could do that, you could use it as an outline, but I found trial and error with that for so many years and like I'll go out a little bit too much or it'll bleed into something else. So for me, rather than just using a pencil and then putting the rest in, I like to use three products. So I always use the pencil first. And you really just trace your the outline of your lip. I do have fuller lips, so I don't tend to overline, even though I see some of, you know, the, I see some people who have bigger lips like to overline, but I'm just not into the overline look. That's just me. I don't even know how to do it, so I'm not going to try to teach you guys how to do it. I just follow my natural lip line. Now this is where the blending comes into play because, you know, this used to be a thing in the 90s and the 80s. It's just not a thing anymore, so we need to blend it together. You can use a lip pencil brush. You could use a smudger brush, or I like to use this concealer brush. This is an angled pixel concealer F69 by Sigma and I just take and I start to mix it in and really that's why I put down two layers because you're going to start blending the products and you want to have enough product set in place so it doesn't blend out and blend away. You see we have the gradient effect. It is all blended but still it is darker on the outside because we put those two layers down. So now I'm gonna go in with that Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte Evil Twin. And again, this is just really, really bulky. Um, you could use a brush. Um, I don't like to use the brush because I like to use the brush to blend out, but it's always easier if you have the outline already with a lip liner. So we're just going to go ahead and trace that same line again. All right, so you see that is intense, intense. It's super, super deep. So just take back, pick that back up and start to blend into the liner again. Pulling down and tracing down as well. Boom, 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 boom. Do you see the blendedness? Do you see why I put the lips the lip pencil down first. It just helped. It was like tracing outside the lines before you color in in a coloring book, right? And yeah, it's looking pretty intense, first of all, but really good. You go ahead and put a red, you could put a clear gloss right here, you could put a lipstick, you could put one lipstick here, and then you could put another lipstick in the center to create a lighter, more uh, ombre look as well. But for me, we're gonna go ahead and pick up a red because my hair has a crimson in it and it also has burgundy, so I just think that it would work very well together right now. So I'm picking up the Cranberry Stiletto. 
and we're going to politely blend the two together. And literally just saying slowly until the look is achieved. See how it's blending and it's not a heavy harsh line, how it has melted and ombre together, right? And boom, there you have it. All right, so I popped on some lashes. And this is what it looks like matte, you guys. Very well blended, very bald, very boom in your face. <laughs> um, I have been married to the ombre look. This was like babe, 2014. It was super huge, like bold lips. Back in the day, it used to be huge. You would have the um, Night Moth and Candy Yum Yum. That was the purple and pink, you know what I mean? Like this was a phase of mine that I want to bring back. No one's really doing it anymore, so I just figured I'd create a separate look and show you guys how to do it because I'm pretty sure it's gonna come back into style. You know, everybody's just been wearing nude lips for so long. History repeats itself. This is going to come back soon, I, I promise. So now, after you see what it looks like as a matte, we're gonna go ahead and pop on a little bit of clear gloss just to ump it up a little bit, give it some more va va voom, and bring that lip out front and center. So we are gonna be using this Fenty Beauty. This smells so good. Glass slipper, if you didn't know. Y'all, I went to Minnesota and somebody stole my glass slipper. I was appalled. That was so rude. Like, that is such a disrespect. How dare you steal someone's glass bomb? I was just taken aback. That was so ghetto. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and I always just put it on my finger because I don't want to have the color. Even if this is a matte lipstick, it can still possibly stain a little bit. Some can come up. I don't have time. This is so pretty. Um, I don't want to jeopardize it in any way. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop the lip color on. And it's easier with a liquid matte because if this was an actual lip gloss or a lipstick, it would be moving everywhere. But it's always easier with matte because it doesn't go anywhere. So I'm really feeling it. I have not been this baba voom glam in so long that I have missed it. I don't regret it. I don't regret. I want all parts of this. This is awesome. It's really loud and bold, and it really makes your lips the statement piece on your face when you just add that add when you add that little pop of gloss. It's like it's like awesome what a gloss can do, right? It really just brings everything out front and center. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. We have going some ombre red and black perfect for this time of the year super drop dead gorgeous very bold and in your face if you will if you guys liked this video if you like the affordable makeup if you like what I've done here using more color leave me a comment down below let's get the conversation started I always love to hear you guys feedback it really steers me in the direction of the videos that I will create for you guys so if you haven't already give me a big old thumbs up it helps me more than you know leave me the comment don't forget to subscribe and I will be back very soon with another video for you guys. Bye!